Hi, and welcome to The Incredible Life of Cat. Today, I am going to do a favorites video. I did first want to say thank you to all my new subscribers, likes, views, comments. If you haven't subscribed already, you can subscribe down below. And also my social media is in the description of this video, so you can find me on TikTok and on Instagram. Let me get into this. This is a whole bunch of different types of items. It's not just body care. So I am gonna be sharing with you some of my favorites as of lately. And you know what, this is kind of on a whim, so I didn't plan anything, and there's probably more stuff that I should have grabbed now that I'm looking across the room. So I'm gonna start with non-Bath and Body Works items. This includes around the house stuff and like makeup -y stuff and one food item. So I am going to start with makeup type stuff. One of the foundation that I've been using is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation in a powder. I seem to like powder foundations. They work a little better than liquid for me for some reason. I've tried, I used to use liquid foundation and it just, I don't know, I don't care for it. My face feels greasy no matter what I use. Um, this is the one in the correct color for me and that color is 140 Golden Beige. And they, they have an array of colors. I don't know how broad their color colors are. They're okay, but I think they probably could expand a little bit. So, you know, everyone could kind of get in there because I always have a hard time myself just finding the right color. Sometimes it's beige, sometimes it's true beige, sometimes it's different types of beige. So I can only imagine what everyone else struggles with. I don't feel like I have a very unique skin tone. So I think they could really branch out a little bit, but I really do like this stuff. It has buildable coverage, it has decent coverage for me, so definitely I would recommend that item. This is almost finished and it's in my makeup drawer and I use it every night. It is the mintbomb.com from Glossier. Is it Glossier or Glossier? Um, I've had this in the past and I did buy this. I like this because it's really minty, but the texture is like basic Vaseline, so you could get away with just like mixing like mint oil with Vaseline maybe I don't I don't know I do like this one and it takes a very long time to use even the tiny ones up this is a 0.24 fluid ounce one and I do have others but this one is really nice it works well so I would recommend this if you're in the market for a lip balm it's pretty good I would say you could probably find something at the drugstore a little bit cheaper but I do have been favoriting that one and using it a lot so next one is the Lifter Gloss from Maybelline. This is from Jasmine Bullard is where I saw this and I tried it out. It's what I'm wearing today. I don't feel like it necessarily like lifts and does anything. It has hydrolonic acid in it in there. Um, I haven't used this totally up yet. I do use this one often and there's another shade that I have too. This one is the one I'm wearing today. It's in the shade Petal. Um, it's a pretty neutral color and I always go for pretty neutral colors. Um, I've tried like the bright stuff and it's not really me. But uh, yeah, no, she had this on her channel and I was interested in it and I really do like it. It's not sticky, it's glossy, you can mix it with things and it just has a really nice feel to it and you don't feel anything funny going on with your lips and it just gives you a nicer, nicer glow to your lips too. So I really do like this one. And I think that's all the makeup stuff that I have. Um, more skincare stuff, this is one of the messed up ones from my... Uh, from where it leaked, this is a cup of coffee face mask from Lush. And this is a staple in my routine. I use this most mornings and I would not give it up for the world. I buy about one a month. I go through about one a month, sometimes more, sometimes less, it really depends. You can use this anywhere on your body you want to. It's a, risk robust, a rich, robust mask to leave skin radiant and smooth. And it perks up your skin, makes it nice and soft. I really like this one and it's been a staple in my routine for probably about three years now. So that is another one. Next is a Bath & Body Works item. It is the Aromatherapy Stress Relief Luxe Bubble Bath. I've used this two or three times. I don't always have it on my on my shorts. I don't always tell you guys about it, but I have used this a few times and I really do like their Lux Body Baths or Bubble Baths. I can read. Um, I would like to get more of these in the future. I do want to take some more baths, and I know Sid has used this once or twice too. So that is going to be coming in the future, but I do really like their bath. That was a very relaxing one. I could give you that. Next, I'll give you guys a little food item. 
and uh, I know I'm, I'm basic and it's okay. I'm okay with being basic. I'm going to embrace being basic. Next is the pumpkin pie spice from International Delight. Anyone that knows me actually knows that 99% of the time I use just half and half in my coffee. That's it. I, I don't, I like my coffee bitter. I don't like the sweet stuff. I really don't buy many of these. I bought this one and a chocolate one when I knew my friends were going to be up here because we drink a ton of coffee when they're here and they like the sweet stuff. So I wanted to try this one out and I actually really like it. I'm going to go buy another one probably this week or next week. It is absolutely delicious. It's not overbearingly sweet. And I find a lot of the creamers that people use make their coffee super sweet and I can't do it. It's just too much like the mocha chocolate one that's in there. I love mochas, but it needs to have some bitterness to it. And that is just all sweetener. This, you get a little bit of sweet, but you're getting that pumpkin pie spice and it tastes just like a pumpkin spice latte in your coffee. So I'm definitely gonna recommend this one. And having to do with pumpkin and being very basic, one of my very favorite candles besides pumpkin pecan waffles, which I should have grabbed, is pumpkin spice latte. I was going to do a short on this one the other day and I completely forgot, so there is going to be one coming soon. I can't get enough of this one. I think I have this one and another one. The light is all messy, but um, this one and another one from last year, and then I've already bought one for this year. So I haven't done a comparison yet, but they both smell almost identical when I'm smelling them both together. I do need to do a video for them, but this is one of my favorite Bath & Body Works candles. I will always have one in my collection, same with Strawberry Pound Cake. And speaking of Strawberry Pound Cake, I haven't opened this one yet. It's probably the next one I'm gonna open. I have the Gentle Gel Hand Soap for the Strawberry Pound Cake. I This is my very favorite fragrance. I should have grabbed that candle too, but you guys already know. And I've used, I think, two of these this month already um, to the Strawberry Pound Cake Hand Soap, so I'm probably going to add a third one in. I like to alternate my hand soaps between seasonal and a favorite, seasonal and non-seasonal. So yeah, no, this is my non-seasonal. This is a year-round fragrance for me. And I know it might be a little dusty on the top and it's still got the plastic on it, but I'm about to change out hand soap. So this one's coming up soon. And the next two items or three items, I'm sorry. I'm not really following my categories here. This I somehow managed to spill coffee on. Don't ask me how. Is Lip Zest Lip Balm and Peanut Butt PB and J Perfection is the name of it. There is a young lady that has a huge lip balm collection. She's on YouTube and her name is Purple Star 2 I believe. And she also makes her own lip balms. And she has an Etsy store and I bought this from her last year. And I want to buy another one. I'm going to wait until probably winter time to buy another one. And the reason for that is because this was in my pocket and it's been in my purse and everything else. But it's so hot that if I take it out of my house, it seems to want to try to melt. I have not melted this one yet, but I am about halfway done with it. I'm kind of sad to see it go, but I really do like this flavor and the texture is awesome. It doesn't wear off easily like a lot of chapsticks do and lip balms. So I would definitely, definitely say try that out. And the next couple items, non-Bath & Body Works, my last two I'm, I'm saving. This is an LED lighter and I got this on Amazon for $10. I will look for a link to it if I can. Um, this thing seems to work okay. I've been trying it out to see how it does. You just, you charge it and then you, you have this safety so you can't sit there and click it when it's closed. And you have to turn it on and it's a little LED lighter. I don't know if it's supposed to fizz like that, but it does. Um, I heard that these have, will give you less soot, but as you can see, there's like soot and burning up there, but I'm using this anyway. I mean, I can recharge it and try it again. It seems to light my candles okay. I haven't really noticed a difference in the soot in the candles when using that. So I can't really, I'll give you guys more of an overview of it, but I can't really say it stops soot. And also one of my other favorite items is I got this wooden crochet hook from Hobby Lobby, not when I went by myself, but last time I went with my husband, I got some extra crochet hooks in sizes that I liked. And I'm loving this thing. I'm loving the wooden one. So I'm probably gonna buy 
start buying these more often or I might try some bamboo ones, but this one is really nice. If you are a crocheter, you will understand. Um, it's cool beans, so I really like that one. I'm preferring that one. I do have that size hook in other forms, but I really like that one lately. And the last two items are Bath & Body Works Fine Fragrance Mist. I've really been loving on my cotton candy clouds. This one is almost done. I've been wearing this every day for about the past week, and it's one of my favorites. And it never will stop being a favorite. I have several, several sets of this one. And it is just like this cotton candy, sponge sugary perfection to me. The fragrance notes are sponge sugar, pink berries, and whipped vanilla. So this is one of my favorites or what I'm favoring right now. But I do have plenty of that one in my collection. And the other one that I've been favoring and actually been kind of jonesing for this fragrance, I haven't used it this week, is uh, Coconut Cream Pie. I have several sets of this as well because it is one of my favorite fragrances. I would have to say overall, my top three are Coconut Cream Pie, Strawberry Pound Cake, and Cotton Candy Clouds. And if you guys can't tell that from what you've seen of my collection already, you know, you I know you can see it. The fragrance notes for this are Toasted Coconut Flakes Caramel Custard and Golden Pie Crust. It says, whisk yourself away to a Parisian cafe and enjoy the delicate treats and bubbly drinks. I don't know about bubbly drinks, but I cannot get enough of this fragrance, so I'm gonna, probably going to be using it pretty soon. And though... Out of all these three scents, you will see me add them in my Project Use It Ups pretty often. But I think that that is everything for my favorites. I thought I would just, I've seen other people do like little favorites videos. So I wanted to share those things with you guys. If you want me to, I can link some items below. If you're looking for them, just comment and let me know and I can always edit. So I will talk to you later. Bye.